right, time for sports. Myra's here. We'll talk uh, football in a minute, but hockey first. Yeah, let's talk about this man, Roberto Luongo, who's making it awfully hard for Coach Alain Vigneault not to keep giving him the nod in net. He's yet to drop a game in regulation and went 2-0-1 last week. That earned him third star honors from the NHL and a fourth consecutive start tonight in Edmonton. I think right now, uh, really focused on our team success, we uh, wanted to make sure that... Uh, you know, we're, we're collecting points. Um, you know, it's not like any other season where uh, you start off in a rut or something and you have time to get back into it. Uh, Vancouver has two really good goalies that we're going to have to play well against every night, and that's really how we think about it. It doesn't matter if it's Schneider or Luongo. Um, we know that they're going to get good goaltending, and um, that's something we're going to have to get ready to face every night. Well, remember how excited the Canucks faithful were when the team first acquired the all-world goalie? Then they were all on board to ship him off this season. After his stellar play, though, Luongo, the Luongo lovin' is back on in Vancouver, but not just among his fans and his teammates, even his opponents are singing his praises. Actually, you know, it's been the opposite. It hasn't been chirps. It has been a lot of uh, compliments and... Uh, so you're getting support. Yeah, a lot of support. A few guys uh, asked me if I wanted to play for their team, uh, a couple <laughs> things like that. So uh, it's been good. It's been all good. Well, there are no goalie controversies at Savon Foods Memorial Center. Patrick Polivka is the Victoria Royals' undisputed king of the crease. The rookie netminder has played in 41 games and recently backstopped a depleted lineup to a franchise best seven straight victories. Polivka has stopped over a thousand shots and doesn't mind facing a lot of rubber. A busy goalie is a sharp goalie. I think that the goalie job is the most important thing. I think um, my body is in a good condition and I'm good with that. I love, I love when I'm playing, so that's why I'm here. Can't fault Polivka for the Royals' recent road trip. He stood tall in Saturday's shootout win to salvage two points on the three-game swing. Points are at a premium as the Royals look to try to clinch home ice for the first round of the playoffs. They're currently five points back of that spot, making their midweek matchup with the Seattle Thunderbirds pretty important. I think, uh, you know, hey, our, our focus is, and it's no different than the top teams, is, is we're preparing to, to get ready for the playoffs. And, and uh, we're not looking at the teams behind us. We're looking at the teams in front of us. And, and we want to make sure that we give ourselves a chance to win by making sure every night that we're prepared, regardless of who our opponent is. I just hope that uh, if we have the lead, the lights don't go out. <laughs> So what would have happened had the lights not come back on at the Superdome during Super Bowl 47? Well, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell says there was a plan B. The Superdome has a backup power system that was about to be used if the main power supply didn't start firing, which it did, and the 34-minute delay also fired up the 49ers' offense. So here's what they had to say, the Ravens, at the end of the game. For us to finish it the way we did, you know, the sermon this morning was, our pastor gave was, finish the race, finish the race. And man, as a team, we finished the race. All y'all counted us out. We know all you did. We know you had them picked. Broncos, Patriots, Texans. None of y'all had, none of y'all had them Ravens in this game, let alone winning it. Baltimore City, Charm City, world champions, baby. How's this for conflicting emotions? Ravens head coach John Harbaugh had to balance the elation of a Super Bowl win with compassion for brother Jim on the losing San Francisco sideline. Toughest moment of all was, uh, was walking across the field, you know, and you, if you can imagine, you feel an incredible amount of elation with an incredible amount of devastation. And those two feelings went hand in hand in that moment. And, and I'm still feeling, you know, so that's just reality. And uh, I'm proud of him. He's the best coach in the National Football League. His, his, his record proves it over the last two seasons. What he's done is just incredible. It's never been done before uh, that I know of, and I'm just really proud of him. Well, after an eight-year CFL career, Jarius Jackson says his playing days are behind him. The BC Lions quarterback will sign a one-day contract with the club and retire as a Leo. And he's still going to be on the team's payroll. Jackson has signed on to become the Lions' new quarterback's coach. Paul McCallum, on the other hand, is not ready for retirement. The veteran kicker will return for his 21st season in the CFL. McCallum has played 292 games in the past 20 years. That ranks him ninth in CFL history. He played all 18 regular season games for the Lions in 2012 and made good on 44 of 52 attempts. McCallum now has a CFL best 10 seasons with a success rate of 80% or better. 
Well, we've seen Steve Nash drain some pretty impressive off-balance shots in his time, but even the two-time NBA MVP would have some trouble pulling that off. Point guard Daniel Barley won a basketball tournament for his Rochester, New York high school with this shot from his knees. The buzzer beater from half court sailed through the basket to break the deadlock. It's fair to say Daniel Barley could be the most popular kid at Rush Henrietta School these days. Wow. How about that? Not bad. Hey, try to do that yeah. again. Did you enjoy the Super Bowl? I did you enjoy the Super Bowl. You were entertaining, right? You never got to see it. I started to watch half. it in the second half after the big blackout there, yeah. but I liked the Beyonce halftime show. So did the ladies at Chick Bowl. So yeah. it was pretty good. Most exciting football moment uh, on the weekend, G. Roy Simon of the Rams uh, Awards Banquet Saturday, and you did a fantastic job hosting oh, thank it. Thank you. you. That was a lot of fun. And he emphasizes event. teamwork and, you know, putting the team before yourself. So yeah. I really enjoyed his speech, and it was a great event. Well, he did a fantastic job. Thank, thank you. you.